Gaming is huge in the YouTube space, making Minecraft one of the most popular games to play on YouTube. In fact, the Minecraft community is so huge that many content creators have tens of millions of subscribers. Just because there's many popular YouTubers that do Minecraft content, which tend to be family friendly, doesn't make them fully innocent since some creators have committed heinous crimes. These crimes include domestic battery and mainly So in today's video, I'll be talking about Minecraft YouTubers that became horrible criminals. Welcome back to another video, but this time we got the brand new camera quality. Thank you so much because if it wasn't for you guys, I would not have gotten this amazing camera. Um, in case you guys didn't know, I've been recording on my phone for like over a year on YouTube and we're finally doing an upgrade. So thank you so much. Um, also, before we get into this amazing video, Make sure to go follow me on Instagram, please. We have to run those followers up, dude. I'm not even kidding. My high school Spanish teacher has more followers than me. He doesn't do YouTube. I do YouTube, yet he has more followers. Like, come on. Check me out on Instagram if you guys want. And also, don't forget to check out EarlDoesn'tExist.com. Make sure to use my link in the description below to get some fire clothing. Like, look at this denim jacket. It's high quality, it feels good, but enough promoting, let's get straight into this video. Popular MMOs Patrick Julianel, better known as Popular MMOs, was my favorite Minecraft YouTuber who would make mod showcases in Minecraft. Popular MMOs was a bit special in the YouTube game just because he was one of the first YouTubers to run multiple mods at the same time in Minecraft for his series. Pat normally played with Gaming with Jen, who was his girlfriend, and on May 20th of 2015, Jen would post a video to her channel stating that she and Pat got married. Around that time, popular MMOs was at his peak, gaining millions upon millions of views, and would post daily content every day. And at one point in his career, he was uploading two videos every single day. Then on May 25th, 2019, Pat would upload a video titled, We Are Breaking Up, where they announced that they were both getting a divorce. They got a divorce because Jen wanted kids while Pat didn't. So they decided to split up so both of them can be happy and live the future that they both want. Although they split up, they still made many videos together since they left on good terms. But it wasn't the same anymore, causing viewership to go downhill, and plus, in 2019, Minecraft videos were no longer that popular. Few months after that, Pat would upload less frequently, and Jen would appear in less videos on the channel. Pat decided to bring on more women to the channel, but his fans hated it because it felt like he was trying to replace Jen. Pat would bring on this girl named Eleni, and she would even date Pat for a while, but the relationship was toxic since allegedly they both cheated on each other and Eleni was a gold digger. After that relationship was out of the way, Pat would date a brand new girl named Liz. During this time, Eleni, Pat's ex, would post on social media that Pat got arrested and that he had women in Minecraft. In fact, Pat's ex-wife Jen would like that tweet from Eleni, but later came out saying that she liked the tweet on accident and that Pat never put his hands on her in the 10 years that they were together. Eleni also showed police reports saying that Pat got arrested for battery causing bodily harm domestic. The story was that Pat and Liz got in a fight while drunk, making them both have injuries. When police came, Pat and Liz had different stories, so they both had to be taken in for questioning. Pat and Liz refused to press charges on one another, so they were just let go. After Eleni posted his police report on social media, Pat would dox Eleni on Twitter like if that was going to help Pat's image, but he just took that tweet down after he got so much hate for it. And after that fight with Liz, they would still be together making multiple videos and they even got married. I think, because it was one of those like Las Vegas weddings and I don't know if they're legit or not. And plus, both of them were wearing gym clothing. So I don't know if it was real or not. A few months later, Pat would get arrested again for a second time and Liz would claim that while drunk, Pat tried to kill her and stabbed out her tires in Minecraft. But when police intervened, Pat and Liz had opposing stories once more. After this, Liz would post a very disturbing TikTok accusing Pat of a Have a look.
This TikTok is now deleted. And when somebody asked why did she delete it, Liz just replied with that she didn't want to slander Pat's name, which I mean, if these accusations are true and if you already posted it, why delete it once it's already up? After all, I'm already showing it to you guys. So there's like no point in deleting it since everybody knows. But are these accusations true? I don't know. And finally, in March of 2022, Pat got arrested again for a third time because he and two other friends decided to streak a football game. Pat's friend Ethan ran the field while Pat and another friend tried to run it as well, but they were caught before they were able to get into the field. The three men, including Pat, were arrested, but Ethan is in more serious trouble since when he got arrested, he had an ongoing case. Pat has since been released and posted on his YouTube community tab and confirmed that he is still in a relationship with Liz and that he was wrongfully arrested. Like, bro, you were going to streak a football game, but you were caught before you were able to. You were not wrongfully arrested. But his charges has since been dropped. Pat also states that he wants to return to YouTube very soon and he hasn't posted in over a year, so who knows if he would return, but he does plan on it. So we'll see if popular MMOs does make a return to YouTube. Lion Maker Marcos Wilton, better known as Lion Maker, was a Minecraft YouTuber back in 2013. He rose to fame for playing Minecraft and he even collaborated with the one and only Stampy Longhead. He was very family friendly, but of course, this was just a YouTube persona. Because in reality, he was very emotionally unstable that he would vent about his emotions on Skype with his underage fan base. In September of 2015, a mother of a young girl told Keemstar from Drama Alert that Lion Maker asked her daughter for lewd photos on Twitter. Keemstar interviewed the mother on September 15th, 2015, and after that interview went up, Lion Maker told his audience that these allegations were false and that he was hacked. After this situation, a young boy would come out against Lion Maker, saying that Lion Maker offered him $500 for birthday suit photos, which later caused Keemstar to talk about this story again, basically damaging Lion Maker's career even more. I know nobody watches Drum Alert anymore, but back then it was such a huge deal if he talked about you because he can straight up destroy your career in a second, which in this case, it was for the right reason. After all of that out of the way, a third victim came out, and that was no other than Paige the Panda. Paige has been in multiple of Lion Maker's videos, and has played with other Minecraft creators back in the day. Paige was only 16 at the time, and was in an intimate relationship with Lion Maker, who was 27 years old. Lion Maker has made videos addressing these allegations, but he mainly tries to manipulate and downplay the situation. I don't know what's wrong with him, because all of a sudden, he decides to leak Paige's photos onto Twitter. Marcos, aka Lion Maker, posted CP onto Twitter. He deleted the photos afterwards, but who does that? He's just ruining his own career and digging his own grave by the second. In late 2016, Lion Maker was arrested by Belgian police, accused for statutory R word, distribution of CP, and being in possession of CP. He was released from prison on September 8th, 2017. According to a released document acquired by BuzzFeed News, he was only locked up for 10 months. But if you ask me, he should have been in jail for way longer. Once released, Marcos would stay away from the internet and he had a friend take over his YouTube channel in 2018 and said that Marcos will return to YouTube soon. Luckily, YouTube stepped in to delete the channel before Marcos could even return. Around this time, Paige the Panda would release her own video talking about her experiences with Lion Maker where she makes everything clear on what happened, saying that Marcos was never hacked since Marcos would always use the I'm hacked excuse every time he got caught red-handed. In 2019, Marcos would make another channel, but instead of making Minecraft videos, he would stream drunk and talk smack to the people that ruined his career. Around this time in 2019, Marcos went live on Instagram, saying that he's leaving the internet forever and he hasn't returned since. Jakishi this next one is interesting because Jakishi is the only one in this video that hasn't been arrested, but his actions were definitely criminal. Demetrius Madsen, formerly known as Jakishi, was an upcoming Minecraft YouTuber and Twitch streamer. Jakishi started making videos in 2013 when he was a child, but started to take it more seriously in 2021 when he was 21 years old. Jakishi was only a small streamer, only streaming to 30-ish people, but then one day, Dream decided to raid Jakishi on Twitch. Dream would also donate $2,000 to Jakishi as well. Jakishi basically got a free career since after that, he's gaining massive following everywhere else, and he was averaging a few thousand views per stream. Jakishi was extremely likable to everyone, that on October 24th, 2021, Dream decided to invite Jakishi to the Dream SMP. 
I don't have to explain what the Dream SMP is, but if you're a Minecraft creator and is part of the group, your career is basically set. When Dream announced that the new member of the Dream SMP was Jakishi, Jakishi would get cancelled on Twitter. Not once, not twice, but over 40 times. Two days after Jakishi was announced to join the Dream SMP, one Twitter user said that she was talking to Jakishi when she was 14 and when he was 18 or 19. Jakishi would joke around about sending photos to each other, which they eventually did. They even planned on meeting each other in person during the summer while she was 50 and he was 20. They were going to stay in a hotel together where Jakishi then said that he'll try not to make any sexual advances towards her. This tweet gained 50,000 likes, which Dream obviously found out about, where he then kicked Jakishi out of the group. On his private Twitter, Dream would say, Remove Demetrius from the SMP for gross accusations that he confirmed privately were accurate. No questions, no toleration. Disgusted and incredibly disappointed. We'll never let things like this stop me from trying to uplift members of the community and smaller content creators. It's a part of what makes our community great. So stick together, be there for people who need it, and always be safe online. Love you. After that tweet, more people would come out with their own stories, which were similar to the first one, making Jakishi to be cancelled over 40 times. He has since left every social media and his Twitch got terminated. Jakishi hasn't apologized because he's no longer on the internet, and we don't know where he is. In all honesty, I feel that Jakishi can easily get arrested. After all, Lion Maker did the same thing as Jakishi, but Lion Maker talked to fewer people compared to Jakishi because Lion Maker only talked to three people while Jakishi talked to over 41 people. So Jakishi can easily serve way more time. Basherverse. Brandon Dylan Asher, better known as Basherverse, was a very popular OG Minecraft YouTuber who would play with Sky Does Minecraft and with Team Crafted. Basher was never a member of Team Crafted, but he made a handful of appearances. In 2015, Basher joined a content group called Bam Lounge, or he needed to do a background check, which was later discovered that Basherverse had a criminal record. In 2004, at 18, Brandon was arrested in his home for having consensual intimate online chats with a longtime girlfriend who was 15. He was convicted of unlawful transaction with a minor. Brandon spent one week in jail and had all of his electronics confiscated and was forced to take reformatory classes intended for grape, ist, and p words. Brandon only chatted and claimed that he never did anything in person. Keemstar then got a hold of the story, but before he could make a video on it, Brandon decided to make a confession video. Bro basically made an exposed video on himself before anyone else could. After that video, many people questioned how truthful was that video. Keemstar decided to step in saying that he didn't believe it, and during this time, people made false rumors saying that when Brandon was 23 that he R-worded a 12 year old, but those were just false. But for some reason, many people were pushing these false accusations to Brandon, which caused his mental health to go downwards. He would post a video in 2017 saying that he's done while having a mental breakdown. Brandon quit his main channel and stepped away for a while, which he later came back as a streamer in 2019 named Toasty. Brandon only did a few streams and was inconsistent, and then in 2020, Brandon would pass away from COVID-19. Rest in peace. L for Lee Lee Carson, better known as l 4 Lee, was a small Minecraft creator. He did have his own YouTube channel back in the day, but he mainly appeared in Stampy Longhead videos as a sidekick. Stampy is one of the biggest Minecraft YouTubers back in the day, and one day he decided to make a video with l 4 Lee since Stampy needed extra help for a video. Stampy's audience loved l 4 Lee so much that he stuck around longer, but had to separate from Stampy after an expose. In August 7th, 2015, an article would come out titled, Minecraft Pervert Harassed Teenager and Older Woman in Sick Facebook Campaign. The article would say that in 2013, when Lee was around 13 years old, he would harass an 18 year old girl on Facebook. Lee would make a fake account named Michael Duffy where he would send photos and perverted comments to her. l Lee would even make comments about possibly stalking, which made the woman threaten to call the police, which Lee then stopped. The other woman that Lee harassed on Facebook was a 52 year old family friend who was close with Lee. They were so close that he would be invited to her house. This wouldn't stop Lee from using the same fake Facebook account to harass her by sending photos of him to her and saying perverted things. One day, Lee decided to do something big that he hasn't done before, which was to sneak into her house and steal her pants. He would then perform sexual acts to the pants 
and hide the pair of pants within the house. Later in the day, Lee would then use the fake Michael Duffy account to contact the older woman, telling her where he hid the pants. And to the woman's surprise, she found her pants behind the drawer, exactly where Michael Duffy hid them. The woman then called the cops, and Lee decided to deactivate the Facebook account to try to make it harder for them to catch him. But of course, Lee was caught because he left a lot of DNA at the crime scene. Carson Lee was then sentenced to the Kilmarnock Sheriff Court where he was convicted to the SEX Offenders Registry for three years. Lee also got three years probation and community service. And of course, Stampy would then separate from Lee because why would he surround himself with an offender? After these accusations, Lee wouldn't say anything and disappear from the internet. He later came back a year later to address everything where he just said that he did not serve any time in jail, since he was younger back in the day. Even though he didn't serve any jail time, I'm still adding L for Lee to this video because he did get in trouble with the police. Sky Does Minecraft Adam Dauberg, better known as Sky Does Minecraft, was one of the most popular Minecraft YouTubers back in the day and has grossed over 12 million subscribers in 2016. Sky was also the second most subscribed gaming channel, right behind PewDiePie. Fast forward to 2023, Sky has now lost over 1 million subscribers since he hasn't posted for over a year. What went wrong? Well, in 2016, Adam announced that they're quitting Sky Does Minecraft, and Adam would post multiple serious videos talking about their mental health and that they are burned out from making Minecraft content. Talking about your mental health with your audience is not a bad thing, but keep in mind that Adam's target audience was children. The kids just want to see Minecraft videos and not see a grown man talking about how much he hates life. These serious videos led to Sky's downfall, and in 2016, Sky's ex-girlfriend Elisa would cheat on Adam with seven other people and be featured on a KSI music video, which was a diss track to Adam. Keep in mind that Adam and Elisa had a child during this time period. Fast forward back to January 23rd, 2022, Adam's other ex-girlfriend and mother to their second child, Liz, would release some career-ending allegations on Twitter via iCloud. This was a 6,000 word document, and in the document, it would say that Adam would cheat on Liz, force her to have a kid, steal money from companies to buy drugs and never do the work, harmed animals, writing the n-word on the walls with their own blood, assaulted and essayed other women, and allegedly paid the women off so they wouldn't ruin Adam's career, being homophobic, spread rumors about Post Malone saying awful things about his character, voice recordings of Adam sending death threats, and finally cheating on Liz with an AI bot Twitter account. Liz would also put a police report in the documents with a photo of Adam in handcuffs, meaning that Adam got detained for a while. It's been over a year since all of this has happened, and Keemstar asked Adam for a statement to see if these claims were true, which Adam then replied saying that it's a mix, since Adam was mentally ill and was getting treatment during this time. Like I said, it's been over a year since all of this happened, but I really hope that Adam gets the help that they need. Jinbop. Scarlet Zhao, better known as Jinbop, was a Minecraft creator who was a part of Team Crafted and later became a member of Sky Media, which was Skyda's Minecraft team after Team Crafted. Believe it or not, Jinbop was actually friends with Adam when he was in the third grade. Adam then recruited Jinbop to play Minecraft with them and later convinced Jinbop to start his own YouTube channel. In 2016, when Jimbop was 23 years old, a 14-year-old girl would get into contact with Jimbop where she would do artwork for him so he can use it for his videos. After that, they grew a friendship online, but later the messages would turn sexual. The parents of the girl were suspicious why she was always talking to a grown man, so they went to the police to launch an investigation. They even recorded a call with Jimbop where he would say sexual things and police later discovered that he had explicit photos of the girl which is considered CP. That's already bad enough, but it gets worse. Jimbop would even try to convince the girl to fly out to a gaming convention where both of them would meet and would try to sleep with the girl. But luckily he got arrested before any of that could happen. The crimes that Jimbop committed were receipt of CP, production of CP, online indictment of a minor, and travel with the intent to engage in illicit sexual activities with a minor. By the way, you two, before you hit me with limited ads, when I say minor, I'm talking about Minecraft miners, like, you know, pickaxe, you know, mining some diamonds, stuff like that. Please don't age restrict this video. He was arrested in August of 2016 and set to be released in 2023, but for some reason they decided to let him go early back in June of 2022 because of good behavior, which is complete BS. Bro should have got life since he was actually planning to do it with a minor. It's been almost a whole year since Jimbop has been released and we don't know where he is 
or what he's doing right now. He hasn't came back to YouTube and his last upload was six years ago. But let's hope that Jim Bob never returns to YouTube and especially never commit those crimes again. And that is the end of Minecraft YouTubers that became horrible criminals. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video and hopefully you guys liked the video and subscribed. And also, please follow me on Instagram like no joke, my Spanish teacher from high school has more followers than me. How is that possible? I don't know, but it's true though. And this is the first video that I recorded with a brand new camera. Thank you guys so much. If it wasn't for you guys, I would not have gotten this camera. By the way, I'm a bit new to the camera, so hopefully this video turned out okay, like if my microphone was connected all right, the camera angle. I think I'm a bit too zoomed in, so, you know, please give me some feedback so I can change for the next video. But yeah, thank you so much. It really does mean a lot to me. Go shop at EarlDoesn'tExist.com by using my link in the description. Trust me, guys, the clothing is fire and very comfortable to wear. But um, yeah, other than that, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys.